Okay, everybody. So, um, if you've been following along, um, I just I did videos on um, how to set up your file, right? After you've figured out what your file artwork will look like, um, I showed you how to save your artwork out. And um, now I'm going to show you how to set up your file in InDesign. It should look familiar, right? We've been working in InDesign throughout. Um, so just want to make sure we have all our, all our bases covered, right? So we're going to have InDesign open. You're going to create a brand new file. Um, it's going to be set up for print. Yes. Um, and just so you know that there's a preset for this size, our tabloid size, but I'm going to just do it manually just to show you. Right? It's 11 by 17, it's definitely inches. You can it's not going to be facing pages because you're just making one page. Um, so you can uncheck that depending on if you did a horizontal or a vertical poster layout, you can choose one of these. Mine was very vertical portrait. Um, and I'm going to hit create. Okay. So blank file. I'm going to make sure that I save my file. Make sure you know where you're saving it to. I created a project to folder. Um, project to um, layout poster. Okay. And I'm going to save. All right, so this should look familiar. Okay, um, so here's my InDesign layout. I have my pages, um, my layers, my links, right? Um, and I'm going to bring in my artwork. So I'm going to go to File Place. I'm going to look for my project look for my TIFF and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up, I'm going to click and drag that file because it should be the exact same size. Both are 11 by 17. Okay. Um, if, and there it is, it fits nicely. Um, if your file, for whatever reason, your image it looks pixelated and you didn't want it to be pixelated, um, make sure you like you can go up here to view and click on overprint preview and it will show you your file like in high resolution, right? I think mine came in okay. All right. And so we're going to save and design file. And in here, right, um, you're going to like add um, if you haven't already, I added my title in Photoshop. If you didn't, you can add it here, right? You've got your type tool. Um, I'm going to add in here. Gonna make this a little bit large so you can see it. Um, but um, you can, and I think I put this in your project sheet. You can add um, the contact information for your nonprofit. Um, you can add um, the social media handles. For my demo, I'm not do doing that. I'm just kind of adding it for you. Um, and also, um, so you can, depending on how you want that, like, you can have it centered. 
This is just placeholders, obviously. All right, got it down here. Another thing that um, I think is actually very helpful um, is a statistic. Oh, okay. I'm gonna make this bigger so you can see it. A statistic or a fact about your um, nonprofit about your topic. Right. And I wanted to show this to you too. I don't know if you've used this before, but maybe you've stumbled upon it. But I have my um, type here, right? And I want to make sure that things kind of maybe look the same, right? So I'm going to select my type and you can, I know most of you have probably stumbled upon the eyedropper tool, but you can actually use the eyedropper tool for type. Okay. So if you do the eyedropper tool for type, um, it will mimic the style and the color. And sometimes that saves some time um, you can put like a fact about a topic or you know everybody likes those statistics 100 percent of people um you can also if you want to add, you know, a box to kind of emphasize that topic, right? So here's my box. It's in front of everything, but I'm going to select the background and the box and I'm going to bring it to the back. Um, also, too, um, I want to make this box not so um, opaque. I want some transparency going on. So I'm going to go to object effects and I can play around actually with the transparency similar to Photoshop. So this is normal. I can kind of screen it back or I can multiply it. I just want some of that background to show through, right? Gonna make sure I'm saving Command S and I'll go to preview, right? Um, and so this is roughly um, what my poster looks like, right? Hopefully yours has a little bit more to it. Uh, this is just the demo. Um, but for all intents and purposes, right? Double check your project sheet. Here's my poster layout. It's 11 by 17. It's, um, it has uh, Photoshop elements, right? Think of what you want to emphasize, what images you want to use, what is your prof, uh, topic. Um, and so when you get to this point, what you're going to do is you're going to go to file and you're going to export it just like we've done um, with our other projects. So you're going to export it as a PDF, um, smallest file size. Okay. And then you can hit export. And that um, is what you would need to upload to canvas okay um there is an option for you to do a mock-up um so for those of you who are interested in doing that i'm gonna you can I'm gonna add an extra little step here so i can prep for my my optional mock-up for those of you who feel up for the challenge and i'm gonna hit save and I'll do export. So I'm just exporting that JPEG for an optional step. But um, 
you know, once you have your setup in design, you know, create your layout, add to it, um, and then you can upload that PDF to Canvas. Um, if you're thinking about doing that extra step of doing the mock-up, you can watch the next video. But for all intensive purposes, this should get you, these videos should get you to the end point, right? For your project too. Should be really fun. Hope you have, you know, a lot of uh, creativity. You can also scan things in, draw stuff, add it into Photoshop. So all up to you. Okay, so I'll stop here. And then if you're thinking about doing the optional mock-up, you can watch the next video. All right, thanks.